at your mind Live your life without limits No more wasting time Don't forget to stay focused Where I continue Your life without limits family thank you for joining me today my name is shannon i am your resident host to talk about a very important topic today this month is cervical cancer awareness month if you can see i am also rocking my t-shirt look in there it's cervical cancer awareness month and that's what we're going to talk about today how it began and what some of the things we as ladies can do. We not only take care of ourselves from a physical and mental point, but to be proactive in our care. And this is one of the things that I want to discuss today and how we can help educate, inform, and take action, and most of all, prevent this disease from taking more lives. Let's get ready to go. Here's some facts about Cervical Cancer Awareness Month. Here's where it starts. Cervical cancer is cancer that starts in the cervix. It's the narrow opening of the uterus from the vagina, which is call the transformation zone the t-zone area is what's considered the most common area that they find abnormal or pre-cancerous cells to develop so we're going to show a slide of that vagina i'm going to bring that in for you to see and right there is the cervix and the vagina and that little spot in there is what's considered t-formation in that area is considered the t-formation the t-zone is that T zone that oftentimes precancerous cells are found. So what is the next step in the process? Early vaccination. HPV is found in 99% of the cervical cancer cases. But I want you to understand that there's over a hundred different forms of HPV. Most considered low risk and does not cause cervical cancer. So ladies, let's talk about it and what is it that we can do. One of the things that we can do is have our boys and our girls vaccinated early. The CDC recommends at the age of 11 and 12 that we begin to have vaccinations for the HPV vaccine. And the reason being is that it prevents the spread of both high risk HPV types and low risk, which can cause genital warts. So not only are females at risk for cancer related to HPV, men are also at risk for HPV infectious disease. And I know there's many parents out there that are concerned or have strong feelings about vaccination. And all I'm going to do is give you information. So one of the things that you're going to receive as an attachment to this video today is a informational sheet from the CDC that provides you information regarding the HPV vaccination. So what can you do, ladies? get tested the cdc recommends at the age of 21 that all females have a pap test also known as a pap smear and the doctor will tell you based on your pap smear results how often you need to come generally if your pap smear is normal they'll tell you every three years you can come back and have a pap smear if you're found to have some abnormalities in your pap smear, they may order what they call an HPV test. There's also what they call a co-test, where you have both the pap smear and the HPV test done at one time. Either way, the decision will be made between you and your doctor based on your clinical history, if there's anything that's shown up, and then based on that, your doctor will make a plan for you and how you'll go forward 
in your ongoing testing and screening. Many times HPV is found in a lot of people. As a matter of fact, statistics says over 80% of females may come down and be diagnosed with the HPV virus. However, I don't want you to get alarmed. The however is that most of the time your own body's immune system can clear it (laughs) over a couple of years. So a doctor may tell you we're just going to monitor you. So you may never come out, come down with cervical cancer and have a form of HPV because there's various types, hundreds of HPV viruses that exist that many carriers across the country have and they never come down with cervical cancer. So I want to keep keep that in mind and I don't want you to become alarmed and fearful, but I do want you to take it serious enough that you have a well woman's exam and make sure you're tested to prevent any future potential uh, precancerous cells for developing or catch them if they've already developed early on in the treatment process. What I want to emphasize to you today is that you incorporate doing annual well woman exams so that your doctor and you can formulate a plan so that you can make sure you take care of your health. But each case is individual. Most people are asymptomatic of HPV. And the fact of the matter is 80% or more females at some time in their lifetime may have the HPV virus. Men, you're not off the hook. Because HPV is contracted from skin to skin contact. That means you don't even have to have sex to contract the disease. So it can come through anal, (gasps) oral, and just plain old skin to skin contact if there's any virus that has come in contact with your skin. So it is very, very important that we are tested and we take responsibility to make sure we follow through with our physicians on the results. Most people that carry the HPV virus, your own body can rid itself. So as long as it's not something that is advanced or they're seeing precancerous cells, most of the time the doctor will tell you we will monitor it. So the most important thing is to know your status and be aware and be proactive about it. The reason why I'm a little bit emotional and sensitive about this, just last year, I was at an event and started having some issues right before going into the holiday. And I thought it was something very minor. I was having some side pain and I went to the urgent care. And when I left the urgent care, they sent me to the ER. And from the ER, they began to tell me they thought that I had cancer. The imaging that they had done, the CT scan that they had read, that my uterus and my cervix was full of cancer. And this was so shocking to me. And I'm a person that's already very proactive about my health. And this year, even wanted to be more by managing my weight and really getting into eating the right way and making sure mentally I'm prepared. Having that self-love that we talked about on planning on purpose. I'm not just telling you to do it. I'm also practicing it for my own life. So when this happened, I went from a simple right side pain to the ER doctors telling me that they felt that I had uterine and cervical cancer and that having a, not only a OBGYN appointment, but also making an appointment with me with an OB oncologist. And thanks be to God that when I went to my OB doctor who I'd already seen on last year, earlier that year, they did a well woman's exam. They did the HPV exam. They did the pap smear and everything came back normal. So there was no cancer. But what I'm trying to say is that things happen. So I want to leave with you. It's important that you get tested. It's important that you look at having the vaccination and that let's start our boys and our girls early so that they can be preventing going through this but say for instance you have hpv or you know of someone that have it life is not over but you want to stay connected 
You want to be educated and you want to follow up with the care. You want to make sure you keep your appointments with your doctor. And for those of you that don't have a doctor, maybe you don't have insurance, there are public health clinics that you can go and get free well woman exams in your area. Look up your Department of Public Health Services and find out where they exist within your area and you can go in and you can have a free well woman's exam that include a pap smear. So even if you don't have money, there is a way to do that. That's why it's a national call in the month of January to make everybody aware of the benefits of understanding and having knowledge about cervical cancer. As a matter of fact, one of the handouts that I have that's gonna be attached to this presentation, the National Cervical Cancer Coalition, and it talks about HPV is common. It lets you know most sexually active individuals with HPV at some point, at any time, are approximately 79 million in the United States are carrying HPV. But I have this handout that we're gonna have attached to this video so that you can have it for reference for yourself along with the vaccination guidelines from the CDC talking about parents and vaccination for HPV. I want you informed, I want you educated. So this show is about living your life without limits and it's about educating you in every aspect of your life. Family, if you have loved ones, if you yourself as a female has not gone and had your well woman's exam and been checked through a pap smear, I am giving you a challenge this year. Schedule your appointment. It's important for you to go. You matter, not just for yourself, but for your loved ones. A simple exam and testing or a vaccination early on can prevent a lifetime of other things when it gets too involved and too advanced. I love you enough to tell you, let's take 2020 and own our health from the top of our head to the crown of our feet, mentally, physically, and every organ in our body where we're going to Live our life without limits through our mind, our body, our finance, our relationships, and loving ourselves. And that includes your female re reproductive areas. And I know many of y'all love your female reproductive areas. That's living your life without limits after dark. That's a whole nother conversation we're going to have on a different day. I want you to do a couple of things that you can do to help yourself adopt healthy choices by, if you're a smoker, consider reducing your smoking or eliminating your smoking. Having a healthy weight, many of us are looking at weight this year on eating more healthy, having more physical activity, limiting your alcohol so that you can live a very healthy physical life, getting screened and vaccinations and staying informed. I am Shannon. I'm your host from Living Your Life Without Limits. I want you to join me every Saturday. Each Saturday has its own interesting topic. We're just getting started. I'm excited about what we have in store for you. So many different subjects that we're gonna go through. We got great prizes that we're gonna be giving away throughout this year. And most of all, we're here to celebrate you, bring you everyday tools and resources that you can use in your life. I love you. Thank you for joining me. Continue to love yourself because guess what? You're worth it.